What are the storms brewing within you? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A seeker decides to meditate alone, away from his place. He takes his boat out to the middle of the lake, moors it there, closes his eyes, and begins his meditation. After a few hours of undisturbed silence, he suddenly feels the bump of another boat colliding with his own. With his eyes still closed, He senses his anger rising, and by the time he opens his eyes, he is ready to scream at the boatman who dared disturb his meditation. But when he opens his eyes, he sees it's an empty boat that had probably got untethered and floated to the middle of the lake and understands that the anger is within him. It merely needs the bump of an external object to provoke it out of him. From then on, whenever he comes across someone who irritates him or provokes him to anger, he reminds himself, The other person is merely an empty boat. The anger is within me. In yesterday's gospel reading, Jesus instructed his disciples to get into a boat to cross the lake. We recall that two men asked Jesus to become disciples of his, but he told them that being one had stringent requirements. Today's gospel reading provides us a view of how rigorous the life of a disciple is. As his disciples were crossing the lake, they encountered a strong storm. Jesus, in this narrative of Matthew, was fast asleep while the boat was being tossed by the waves. We too must pass through the eye of a needle to become a worthy disciple of Jesus. There will be storms, and there will be storms. We reflect today particularly on the inner storms that we struggle with daily. While there are storms that buffet us externally, it is our own storms that prevent us from responding appropriately to the outside world. Anger is a storm we will go through time and again. Anger is a form of helplessness, of feeling not in control, of a situation, of being vulnerable when outside forces hem us in. And if it is in response to someone who triggers a negative emotion in us, it can develop into bitterness and resentment, and when left unchecked, will make us sink into the black hole of unforgiveness and sin. Worry and anxiety is another storm that imprisons us and keeps us locked up in misery. We become fearful of everything around us, most of which are imagined, and can drive us into hopelessness. Our Lord tells us today that we need Him to stay in the boat of our life for us to wake Him up and seek consolation from. He constantly reminds us to have courage born out of faith in Him to face our fears. He tells us to remain strong in the midst of our own storm, and He asks us to cross the stormy lake of our lives with Him, and, instead of clamming up, to calmly listen in prayer to Him, perhaps strumming the chords of peace and humming the melody of hope. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, help me to recognize Your presence in the storms of my life and give me peace. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.